What's up guys welcome back to yet another in depth review video we have been doing review videos of every build of new updates and in this video we'll be doing review of oxygen os 12.1c.62 version for oneplus 9 series so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we have our oneplus 9 on which i have been using this build since almost 3 to 4 days here you can see the android version or uh, version of this oxygen os which is c.62 so i use this device for 2 3 days continuously in which we have tested out battery backup gaming performance stability charging test and many more and i have also gone through all your comments on the first impression video of this build later we also created a community poll asking you guys about what all issues you have been facing on the previous builds so most users are facing issues with the performance part so that also will cover in this video and guys before starting let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 83% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so before even starting the review video let me clear you guys this is one of the stable build which i have ever used on my oneplus 9 till now no ui glitches to be found almost everything is quite stable there are bit issues with the performance part so that i'll tell you in the later part of the video so one of our user who asked us to test out the video recording stuff because he has been getting error while recording videos in 1080p at 30 fps he says after 10 minutes the device shows an warning of overheat and device doesn't record audio after 10 minutes only video is being recorded without audio so i tested out the device with 4k at 60 fps i recorded a video which is 10 minutes plus and here you can see this is the video if i show you the details this is 4k at 60 fps and the video length is around 10 minutes 50 seconds or 57 seconds so let me show you after 10 minutes so right now you can see we are past 10 minutes and if i unmute this video audio is being recorded with no issues and this was done with 4k at 60 fps so device should not have any kind of issues recording 1080p at 30 fps or 60 fps though this might be an issue on the previous build but now on this build i did not find any kind of such issues with overheating and other stuff and while recording the video i continuously monitored on temperature wherein the max temperature went only up to 44 or 45 degree celsius so kunal if you are worried about this thing so this thing have been taken care by oneplus you can proceed and update your device to c.62 and people still think that the animation or you can say charging animation is still an issue which appears for 2 3 seconds and then disappears so guys this is not an issue this is how it is on oxygen os 12 or you can say 12.1 animation stays there for hardly 3 4 seconds and after that it disappears so you guys if you want this animation to stay on your lock screen i would request you guys to provide feedback on the oneplus community hope in future they might add this animation throughout the charging time so this is not a bug this is how it is meant to be on oxygen os 12 and another issue what one of a user have been facing is related to i think proximity sensor wherein he says most of the time the screen turns off but whenever he removes the device from his ear the device always pops up with the notification panel so i guess shivam that's a issue with proximity sensor and if it is not an hardware issue it can be easily fixed you can just download an application so this is the application by which you can fix the issues of proximity sensor just install it and follow the guide which you'll see on the screen hopefully this should fix that issue of proximity sensor but if it's still not getting fixed for once i would request you to reset your device though that's not a issue on my device because i have been testing the device regularly and i have taken a lot of calls another user had this concern of unable to hide wifi and mobile data signal icon from the status bar so personally brother i haven't ever tried this feature but on c.62 we don't have any option to do that you can just hide things like wifi calling ring nfc earphone alarm etc so personally i haven't tried this thing on previous build but right now on c.62 we don't have any option to hide wifi signal icon and mobile data signal icon on previous build few users were not able to use split screen mode but right now on this build you can see there are no issues using split screen windows or split screen mode you can easily access to split screen from the recent panel just by tapping on these three dots and here we have the option of split screen so there is no issue with this split screen on c.62 version and i have also seen users reporting that instagram doesn't work so for me basically i have been using oneplus 9 which is my primary phone i have used it for 3 4 days and for me there are no issues with the 
Instagram application. It works perfectly fine with no issues at all. So as I said guys, if you're facing a lot many issues with third party application, if they're crashing or you see the black screen, for once, make sure to reset your device from recovery. That should sort out most of the issues because C.62 is very stable build. No stability issues to be found yet. So these were some of the questions what users have asked me. I personally did not face any kind of issues on this particular build, which is C.62. It's very stable and can be used as daily driver if you're not much into gaming. Gaming stuff, we'll talk about that in the later part of the video. So another concern was battery backup. Most users wanted to know the battery backup, charging speed and other stuff. And guys, I have noticed one issue with the battery sats so let me go to the battery section and here if you go so one application which again started to drain a lot of battery and that's google services framework this used to happen previously but later it was fixed by google this isn't an issue with oneplus this issue is with the google application and now let's talk about the battery so this is the first battery cycle wherein i got 5 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time with my regular usage which is without gaming using most of the social media application and battery backup might differ for every individual because it completely depends on user to user and their usage pattern so i tested out with normal mode wherein i got 5 hours and 35 minutes of screen on time and after that i also tested out it with gaming so here you can see with gaming i got 3 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time wherein I did almost 11% of gaming as per the graph. I did another test with gaming where you can see again I got 3 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time. That time I did around 25% of gaming. So this is not a bad battery backup. It's a good battery backup. If you are into gaming, the device will hardly give you 3 to 4 hours. Talking about the overnight battery drain. So here you can see I kept my device idle at 12.36. Morning when I got up at 6.36 device drained 5% of battery. So that's also not a big deal. 5% is good enough. Here is the second cycle of overnight battery drain, wherein you can see I kept the device idle at 142 and at 731 device drained almost 6% of battery overnight. So another thing which most users have been asking me whether the charging time have been fixed or not. So guys on this particular build C.62 charging time have almost been fixed my device only took 45 minutes to completely charge so here you can see the time at 221 i started to charge my device exactly at 37 the device was completely charged device only took 45 minutes to completely charge from six percent so slow charging issues have been almost fixed because on previous build c.61 i have noticed the charging time wherein device took almost one hour to charge but now it only took 45 minutes to charge and also you can see the screenshot almost all the issues of notifications have also been fixed so now talking about the camera part i did not see much of improvements here the picture quality seems to be similar compared to previous build here are some of the photos which you guys can take a look at And now at last, let's talk about the gaming part. So guys, That's gaming true. isn't that good Take on time. this particular build. I'll tell you why it is happening. I did play a lot of games Take. after installing C.62, but I did notice the yeah, FPS fluctuation after device getting warmed up. So initially there was no issues. FPS was constantly maintaining 55 to 60, but soon device started to heat up. When I noticed the temperature, when FPS was dropping, that time device temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. So I think it's an issue with Hyperboost engine, what they have added because FPS only starts to drop when your device is warmed up or heated. Without that, there are no issues. So if you use a fan or if you play in AC room, if your device isn't warmed up or if the device temperature is below 40 degrees Celsius, you won't see any kind of fluctuation in the FPS. And also there are few things what you can do to avoid this FPS fluctuation for that you can disable game space application or you can remove the game whichever game you are playing on your device remove that game from game space application most users reported that fps remains constant i wasn't able to test it out because i had to show the fps meter in the video so i had only one option and that to use the game space application 
बट यू गाइज कैन ट्राई आउट प्लेइंग गेम विदाउट यूजिंग गेम स्पेस एप्लीकेशन और बाई रिमूविंग द गेम फ्रॉम द गेम स्पेस एप्लीकेशन एंड देन लेट मी नो हाउ डज योर डिवाइस परफॉर्म बट फॉर मी द परफॉर्मेंस वॉज नॉट दैट ग्रेट बिकॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑन माई डिवाइस आफ्टर डिवाइस हीटेड अप एफ पी एस वॉज बिटवीन फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी इट डिड नॉट गो अब फिफ्टी सम रेयर केसेस इट वेंट अब फिफ्टी बट वेन एवर वी हैड मल्टीपल टीम्स अराउंड अस द एफ पी एस वॉज बिटवीन फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी एफ पी एस ओनली सो दिस थिंग हैज टू बी टेकन केयर बाई वन प्लस विच इज नॉट एट फिक्सड इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेमिंग सिंस दे हैव एडेड दिस हाइपर बूस्ट इंजन मोस्ट यूजर्स रिपोर्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्लक्चुएशन इन द एफ पी एस वाइल गेमिंग एंड वॉट आई फील इज इट वोट बी फिक्स अंटिल ऑक्सीजन ओ एस थर्टीन कम्स इन प्ले बट दैट ऑल्सो वी आर नॉट श्योर आई नो वन प्लस स्मार्ट फोन्स आर नोन फॉर इट्स गुड गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस बट राइट नाउ विद ऑक्सीजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व यू डोंट गेट टू सी दैट and also max fps is restricted to 60 fps so i'm trying out few multiple ways to enable 90 fps on supported device soon i'll do a video on that dal diya shubhas mark the location bade tere badhiya mara badhiya gaadi gaadi ke beech safe hu na koi nahi koi safe left mein bhi theek left So guys this was a full review of Oxygen OS 12 C.62 version for OnePlus 9 series as said earlier it's quite stable build to be used as daily driver i only found bit of issues while gaming nothing much till now this have been the best build for OnePlus 9 series based on Oxygen OS 12.1 and if you guys still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys going to like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day